we, we've got um, a number of key briefs. So, so one is to support innovators in all shapes and forms. That can be large companies, that can be SMEs, it can be um, clinical entrepreneurs, it can be patient carers who have an idea. So, you know, we, we are, are teams that focus on support for innovation and innovators um, see all forms of innovation. Um, we also have a brief around supporting the adoption of innovation, um, both at the, you know, at, at all stages, through from working with researchers to, to support early stage work, right through to beginning to test proofs of concept, pilots, right through to beginning to think about, well, this is this has got market authorization, this is promising, how can we scale this? Alongside that, we work hard to help the service learn about the adoption of innovation. Um, so we have an evaluation function which both evaluates in terms of what are the what is the impact of the adoption of innovation, but how do we continuously learn about the process of adoption of innovation? And, and just to reiterate that that's the interesting thing about AHSNs is the way in which we work both at a local and regional level, but as 15 at a national level. So just, just to put some quantification on that, if you look at the impact of the 15 across England for the for the, for our current license period, um, that um, our stats show that over 2 million patients have accessed um, innovation through work that we've been involved in. Companies who report on our uh, economic growth survey annually say that we've supported uh, £1.3 billion worth of growth. Uh, over 7,000 innovations supported across the 15. Um, and again, companies reporting uh, five and a half thousand jobs either created or supported through the work that we do. So that's an idea of the scale across the 15 working together. <laughs>